This is the pack rat that I've worked on sort of since 2013. Got real serious around 2018, you know, full rat timeline collection, trying to figure out the history. Had to buy all the units, tear them apart, photograph individual components, date things, make a timeline, put them on precision audio analyzation so that you can see what they actually sound like, then compensate for all the drift of the years of aging the parts. <laughs> and here we are, the pack rat. It's nine rats. So when you turn this rotary, it's not a rotor, you're not just switching out a couple diodes. You're telling in this pedal, there's 40 analog switches and there's a digital, just a controller. When you turn this, that controller sees that you turned it and it says, oh, position two, and it changes all these parts. So there's gobs, there's hundreds of parts in this. So that's, that's the end of the project. The beginning of the project is, hey, I'm Josh, I collected 50 rats. <laughs>this guy named Charlie Wicks starts Proco in the early 70s and he's making like stage snakes direct boxes and mic cables which they still do right there's a guy named Scott and a guy named Steve they had this basement there in Kalamazoo and down in the basement he's some sort of technician and Scott's modding distortion pluses DOD 250s fuzz faces like it's the 70s and he says, I can do something better than this. I hate these. So he makes a prototype and then he makes about a dozen of what's called a bud box. And this is literally one of the rarest pedals on earth. It's nasty looking. This basement's rat infested, he says, and that's where the name comes from. There's rats crawling around. So they kind of start a pedal within this company. So it's like, Let's make the rat. And the first version you have is in 1979, it's got a fringe logo. You have a rat tail and you have these little fringes coming off and it says tone. That is the OG mode. They get rid of the fringe and it's what you've probably seen. Then, hold your breath. It says filter. I don't know why. Does it bother me? No. Eighty-four, they decide this pedal's too big for the current market. So they make a small version. This is 1984 and 85. This is made for a couple years. So the white face, it's supposedly the best rat. You know how when you open a big muff, you could like fit 900 more circuits in the case? That's kind of how this is. This is a big case. This is all, literally this circuit board just slides into this. This is more of the size of the circuit. There's 
Little bit of different, like there's a different pot taper, but at the end of the day, they're real similar. So yeah, there's the white face. TRB, turbo. So this is the turbo wrap. This is released in 1989, good year. This is LED, so it takes longer to clip. This is a more open, almost overdrive pedal to me when you have the distortion down. It'll still, when you turn that up, you're clipping the op amp, the diodes, it still does the fuzz thing. This is the, the more versatile, in some ways, wrap. Uh, this is the first time they slant the box. See that? See the slant? four is the Brat. So the Brat, I have the box as well to this, extreme distortion unit. Very much competing with the DoD Grunge, I think. This has an input buffer. It has soft and hard clipping. So in the way that a Tube Screamer clips soft clipping, it has that and the hard clipping of the Rat. So it's interesting. It's a cool pedal. Mode five is dirty. So 2004, they released the You Dirty Rat. <laughs> this version used germanium diodes instead of the silicon or instead of the LED, they use germanium. And the germaniums clip real fast and real hard. They're like, so this is the most saturated of the standard rats. When people do rat mods, usually I'm a three-way toggle, usually people are like, standard, they'll put in some LEDs, or they'll put in something like germanium. That's the clipping toggle.
Uh, so if you look at the control, this side of the mode is kind of like original actual rat models, right? And then when you get to the other side, it's what I call variants or clones or whatever. And this mode is LA. It's the city I hate the most in the world. But in 1986, Ibanez released two product lines that they quickly dropped one and had another Power Series 10 Series. In this line though, there's an LA Metal, there's also a Fat Cat, but this is a rat with no clipping diodes, so it's distorting the op amp completely. It has a bunch of different changes, it has a lot of things going on in it. It's fairly more complex. And it does like the coolest low gain tones, and if you crank it, to me it sounds like a fuzz face, which is wild. So it's the LA rat. <laughs> Seven reaches back to the genesis of the boutiqueers. So around 99, you have Mr. Landgraf, uh, Swirl Paint. His most famous pedal is the Dynamic Overdrive. I think around 05, 04, 05, he releases the MOD, which is a rat. It is a really cool take on the rat. It's simple but it does, to me, my favorite thing this does is like this Fender Tweed kind of, it like has this Neil Young vibe. It does way more than that. It'll do the sustainy big, big rat thing, but I think it has something about it. Um, so various component changes. Yeah, it does a really nice different flavor. It's something really interesting and usable. Mode eight is, I call it the friend zone. So we didn't do this on the Muffaletta, um, but I should have in hindsight. On the on the Bonsai, Robert Keeley is on here. So, you know, it's the Keeley mods. So on this one, I was like, who does a killer rat thing that I love? And it's Caroline Wave Cannon. It's Philippe's pedal. So this is the V1. Yeah, when you turn to this little mode here, it has his logo. He wh whipped up a, a three knob version of this because obviously we have three controls. So there's like a special, you know, he sent me the schematic. So he kind of designed it like he wanted it and we put it in here. It's a really cool take on the rat. It's different. It has different clipping, different cap changes. Yeah, it's the friend zone.
Mode 9 is the JHS mode, so we've had this on all of these, and it's just, hey, these are classic circuits, and here's my mod to the classic circuit. Around 08, at least by 08, I had started hacking into rat pedals and modding them, and we had a mod, so tons of changes internally, a three-way switch. So if you set the switch to the right, it is the Pack Rat mod. So we've done this for over a decade. Yeah, and that's where the name Pack Rat comes from because I've done this mod for a long, long time. So you get the JHS mode. It actually switches to a very different op amp that doesn't have that slew rate and that's, it's a very different thing and it does make a big change. Thanks for watching me ramble with the rats and Thank you, Andy, for playing guitar better than I can without a pick. Check out the Pack Rat on Reverb. All of our dealers, most of them are on there. Go buy one, check it out. If you don't want a Pack Rat, you know, go buy some vintage rats on Reverb. Just buy rats, that's all I'm saying. Buy mine, buy other people's rats, buy old rats, buy every rat on Reverb.